So my educational giant that I picked is William Bagley, and he was an essentialist. Um, he was born in 1874 and died in 1946. He was born in Detroit, Michigan, but his family left for a little bit um, to Massachusetts. But he came back to Michigan to go to Michigan Ag Agricultural College so that he could become a farmer, which is what he wanted initially. Um, however, he figured out that he didn't have enough money to do that so he decided to become a teacher. First, his first teaching position was near Garth and Rapid River, Michigan. Um, he tried to improve teaching there and he only worked there for a couple, for a couple of years. After that, he decided to go back to school and he went to the University of Chicago in 1896 and in uh, the spring of 1898, he finished his master's degree in psychology at the University of Wisconsin. Um, he later accepted a SAGE fellowship at Cornell University, where he studied with Edward Bradford Titchener four years, and then one year he served as his lab assistant. Um, during that time, he before he was a lab assistant, he completed his PhD, um, he, and after his lab experience, he became a principal of a St. Louis elementary school in 1901. And after that, he became a professor of psychology and pedagogy at Montana State Normal School. What pedagogy is, is the art or science of teaching, education, instructional methods. So basically he was teaching teachers how to become better and how to improve their methods as well as improving his own. Um, he wasn't only a professor, he was also a speaker uh, that inspired a lot of teachers and taught them his methods. He also created the first journal in the Rocky Mountain religion, or in the Rocky Mountain region dedicated specifically to education. The, in the Inner Mountain Educator. He also wrote a book called The Educative Process in 1905, and he was one of the founders of the Kappa Delta Pi, which um, today is on a website where it helps you to learn different methods of teaching and also learning about different circumstances that might occur in the classroom and help you develop better ways in order to deal with those situations. Uh, Bagley, William Bagley was also a professor of normal school administration in 1917 at Teachers College, um, also known as Columbia University. Um, he also was a principal and later a superintendent of the teacher training department in New York. Um, he developed the Department of Education at the Oswego State Normal School in New York as well. Um, so I tried to define what essentialism is, and I looked that up, and it said that it was concerning a doctrine that certain traditional concepts, ideals, and skills are essential to society and, sound to be and should be taught methodically to all students, regardless of individual ability, need, etc. So um, Bagley was, was very proactive. He really was trying to help, um, help society to improve and help students to become better students and better learners. And he also served in many positions. So he affected a lot of people in this proactive, with this pro proactive attitude that he had, which is really neat. Um, he developed the Department of Education at the University of Illinois. Um, Bagley also, he helped, um, he and his colleagues uh, after, or I guess during his nine years at the University of Illinois, he helped them to create the Journal of Education Psychology. And, um, 
he also he also um, was interested in the liberal arts education of education. Um, initially, he he was thinking that that wasn't a very effective way, or that it just needed improvement, and so what he was doing is just trying to do that with the Kappa Delta Pi and um, different methods and different ways to influence those um, methods of education. So what is liberal arts education? Um, so Bagley's basic point with all of this is, um, is that Currently, dominant theories of education were feeble and insufficient. Bagley wanted to improve what needed improving. His whole idea was to fix what is not very effective, but keep what is effective. Um, so he was very, um, very resourceful in that area. And I appreciate learning about him because it has helped me to learn what's important in my education and also how I can become a more effective teacher by really analyzing um, my methods and my philosophies of teaching so that I can be the best and the effect most effective teacher that I can be. So he was just trying to help society to become better, to help people succeed and learn and and grow in many ways and in all ways that they can um, be perfected. And um, sometimes it might be seen uh, as, or looked down upon if people change jobs a lot or whatever. But in this case, he helped a lot of people and he affected a lot of lives and affects us today through books that he's written and through things that have been written about him um, that inspire future teachers like myself. So um, William Bagley was just trying to improve society and improve the world of teaching as well. And I hope we can all be like that. Thank you.